What is up guys, Photo Pitch here, and what we're going to go over today is uh, adjusting your YouTube channel settings. This can be beneficial in many ways. Uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, first go to my channel, uh, go ahead and locate that. Uh, today I'm going to be using an arbitrary channel, just a basic account that, I, that I've had and it's been active forever. Uh, so we'll just use that and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. All right, so once, once you've gone to my channel, you're going to click on Channel Settings at the top left, right here. All right, once you're here, uh, you have three different tabs here, Appearance, Info and Settings, and Tabs. And I'm sure a lot of you may have found this out, may have stumbled upon this. But it's very key on some of the things we're going to go over, whether or not YouTube will recommend your videos. And this is just a small portion of many things that Google and YouTube takes into account when it profiles and uh, uses metadata to actually recommend your video. All right. So first, we'll start with the first tab, appearance. All right. So many people um, will, will create a custom thumbnail for their avatar. That way, it shows up in their... Um, uh, in their subscribers feed and they had something really clever and really cool to post up. I'll definitely be posting a video on that soon. So um, when I do, there'll be an annotation right up here for that video and you guys can check that out using Photoshop CS6. Alright, so for today, we're not going to upload any avatar. I definitely recommend putting an avatar. I definitely recommend getting a background, whether it's basic, whether it's something. It's better than just a blank black background or blue but for now if you're just getting started you definitely want to go ahead and choose a color because white's pretty pretty plain pretty basic uh, we're going to use blue go ahead and accept that and you're, you can already see that it's uh, taking effect down here and the cool thing about YouTube is it, it shows up this preview mode right here alright uh, next step now that we've done with the appearance info you know what for, for avatar let's go ahead and choose something Let's go to, hmm, we'll put up pitch. Open that up. And as you can see, you can see right here, it's going to pop up in this top left window. Uh, it doesn't fit in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go remove it, choose a new file. Let's try Cartman. That's much better. See, so obviously I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. But you can see quickly uh, what our channel is going to look like. Background, we've already discussed. Info and settings. This is the bulk of it, this lesson, guys. Um, if you're new to YouTube and you just come in here and put a nice title and say, um, King Pitch, you know, something like that. That's going to show up down here. Let's go ahead and uh, click Done Editing. You'll see, you'll see that that information right there. And look, our channel's already starting to, to come together here. All right, so let's go back to channel settings. Uh, info, info settings, description. This is huge. Description and tags are going to be very important. So let's say I post gaming videos of Call of Duty or Minecraft or something like that. This is where we're going to say I post gaming videos. Be as descriptive as possible. I post gaming videos of Minecraft comma call of duty modern warfare let's go ahead and get as much you know material in there as possible uh, that also sounds uh, legible for your subscribers so they don't think you're crazy modern warfare one two three um, and then we'll say daisy uh, wow PC gaming, etc. Um, my videos help people uh, do walkthroughs, and I show tips and tricks as well. And obviously, that probably doesn't make much sense. The grammar is probably bad. But for today's lesson, we're just going to leave it like that. And uh, you, what you want to do is you want to put as much information in the description box as possible. Uh, it's going to give more information to your channels, basically identifying when Google or YouTube goes out and uh, someone searches on YouTube and they say, hey, I'd like to see Modern Warfare 3 tips and tricks. And this is just one of many things it's going to do is actually going to, it's going to automatically, you're going to have like a value assigned to your channel when it comes to those kind of searches. So that, this is the information you want to put in here. Tags, you also want to do, um, let's do, you want to do quotation mark. 
let's do already got some down here let's do so right now you can see Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 uh, Minecraft Xbox Minecraft Diamonds and you can see the stuff that is actually in quotation marks if it's going to be a count, compound sentence or two words three words you need to put that in, uh, wedged into quotation marks uh, you can see AC-130, uh, different YouTube accounts and so forth. Now that we've got that, we'll go ahead and uh, go to tabs. Now this is uh, this is going to be pretty much a good navigation piece for you. You're going to want to uh, use the featured tab. It's actually one of the more beneficial. If you're going to be posting videos, you definitely want this. I typically do, um, let's see. A feature live event with comments module and events module. Nope. So I typically do uh, everything. That way... Um, yeah, a lot of people do blogger, some people do overview. I do everything that way. What we can do is we get the benefit of a featured video, uh, the most recent video, and then we can pr promote some other channels. We can promote playlists and so forth. So let's go ahead and use that, and I'll go through there. Done. All right, click on there. Uh, featured tab, but we need to make this our default. So let's go back up to channel settings. I typically do that, make it as my default. Featured, always take subscriber users to the, f uh, nope, featured tab. All right, so we'll go ahead and click Done Editing. Now what's gonna happen is I don't have a video right now, so um, add a featured video, uh, right? You know, this is where you would uh, show your video. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and add some other channels. Let's do YouTube B Pitch. Apply. Uh, looks like it didn't apply. That's weird. All right, let's go do that one more time. Um, YouTube dot, dot com slash user slash B pitch. All right, let's go to another channel. Let's do let's do the channel that you're on right now. Uh, we'll go YouTube dot com slash user slash photo pitch. All right, uh, apply. All right, as you can see, I have no subscribers. I'm, I'm recording this prior to ever launching this channel. Um, but for today's lesson, you can quickly see how you can turn your bland, basic YouTube channel background, everything, your avatar, it's going to update it up here. It's going to update it over here. Your background's blue. You're promoting other featured channels and so forth. All right, guys. I know this is very common sense, and some of you guys may have already clicked away. But if you're here still, I want to go ahead and thank you for watching. Leave me a like or comment. If you have any questions about this, put that in the comment section as well. Go ahead and thank you for watching. Photo pitch up.